Greetings, mortals. Stone Monk Gamer here of the Mortal Realms crew. I'm trying out some interesting uh, ideas for filming videos and stuff in the future, and I've got a couple of glitches, but I didn't let it deter me from getting uh, this uh, little tidbit out. Um, in uh, one of the Malign Portent stories, Beyond the Walls, which uh, we touch on um, along with the, the kind of the whole um, library of Malign Portent stories in our latest uh, podcast. Um, there's one story called Beyond the Walls, as I mentioned, and uh, in the story, the, the author is kind of writing in a journal, and the journal is dated. So they've put in uh, numbers, numerals for the what day of presumably a month, um, and uh, and they've they've given those uh, days names, and so it very much you know kind of clicked with me. I was like, oh, are these days of the week? And uh, I I attempted to put together this is my little post-it note trying to figure out okay, there's Comet's Day, Moon's Day, Star's Day, Void's Day, Sigmar's Day. Um, and so I went through and I, um, you know, figured out, okay, it looks like Void's Day, Comet's Day, Moon's Day happen right next to each other. And I could f see the pattern. And as I was going through, I was like, okay, this has to be a seven-day week schedule. But then you see towards the end, there's a, a Void's Day, Comet's Day, and then a Sigmar's Day. And I was like, oh, man, that ruined it. Maybe there's maybe they didn't intend this to be a seven-day week kind of um, schedule and whatnot, uh, but whatever. Um, so I kind of ditched it. I didn't talk much more about it. Um, I thought maybe it was, I guess, more vague than what I was, I was working with. Um, so I, uh, was chatting, uh, I kind of brought it up in the WhatsApp group about lore and, uh, Dan from AOS, AOS shorts pointed me to a, um, something that somebody else had put together and, um, uh, they had kind of cracked the code. So uh, hats off to them for cracking the code, and, and I stopped too early, I guess. Um, but it, it looks like what they talk about is that in this story, there are in Azir, specifically, the, that's what we're speculating from this, um, uh, there is Azir's Gleaming and Golden Harvest are two of the months, um, at least uh, that's what we're thinking. Um in the year, and perhaps those are towards the harvest, uh, obviously the end of a season. Now, we don't have any sense of when the seasons are, but maybe they emulated it after, you know, ours, since they're doing the seven-day-a-week thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so five days are mentioned, and as I, as I had written down, Moon's Day, Star's Day, Comet's Day, Void's Day, and Sigmar's, uh, Sigmar's Day. Um, and it says that he was able to get to the same kind of conclusion that there were these seven day periods between each. Um, uh, we still have kind of two days. What looks like seems like we have two days of the, the week not mentioned. But like I said, that Sigmar's Day didn't land in the right spot. It landed on a moon's day. And he makes the, the jump and says, well, that must mean not that that's an, uh, one of the days of the week, but that's a holiday. So Sigmar's Day is a holiday, which makes sense. Uh, I mean, it makes sense that Sigmar's Day would be a holiday. Um, so we still have, uh, you know, three of the days of the week not mentioned. I would like to suggest that um, uh, that uh, Moon's Day is Monday, um, that uh, Void's Day is Saturday, because <laughs> Saturday can be lost to the void often. And then Comet's Day is, is Sunday, you know, the day you see the, the comet going across the sky. That makes sense in a, in a lot of Western uh, religious tradition. Um, so uh, just wanted to kind of put that out there. Azir has a calendar. It looks like it's a seven-day week calendar. Um, it has a number. We've got uh, Void's Day, Comet's Day, Moon's Day, and Star's Day. And then Sigmar's Day is a um, celebration in the month of uh, Golden Harvest. Uh, so, uh, uh, if, uh, if that's, uh, I don't know, it's, it was just an interesting thing. If it adds any kind of clarity or specificity to the realms that, uh, you've been, uh, looking for, if, uh, if that adds, you know, to any storytelling or lore that you're working on, um, if there's a, a Sigmar's day event, uh, that somebody wants to plan, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um. And it just kind of was one of those, yeah, it's just this little detail that popped up in the story. It wasn't mentioned by um, the community team any further, but I'm sure it'll come up at some point in the future. It'll get mentioned again. Uh, but anyway, 
Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want some more uh, tidbits of lore, hobby, um, etc. And uh, uh, sometimes some new release uh, coverage. Um, and yeah, share it with your friends so that more people can come check out our channel. Talk to you soon.